Many of the apparitions of Our Lady include miraculous healings. In the apparitions of Our Lady of Guadalupe to Saint Juan Diego Cuatlatoatzin, the miraculous healing of his uncle Juan Bernardino serves as a source of comfort for Saint Juan Diego, as well as an additional testimony of the authenticity of the apparitions since Juan Bernardino gave witness of Our Lady's apparition that brought him full recovery of his grave illness. The first apparition takes place on Saturday, December 9th, 1531. Our Lady of Guadalupe appears to Saint Juan Diego, asking him to speak with the bishop so that the church might be built on the site of the apparition. Juan Dieguito informed the bishop regarding Our Lady's request, but the bishop did not believe. Juan Diego returned to the place of the apparition and told Our Lady of Guadalupe to choose someone else to be the messenger, but she reassured him that it was necessary for him to go speak with the bishop again. The following day, after going to Sunday Mass, Saint Juan Diego went again to speak to the bishop, and this time the bishop asked him for a sign from Our Lady. Juan Dieguito informed Our Lady, and she told Juan Dieguito to come the following day to give him the sign for the bishop. The following day, Juan Dieguito's uncle Juan Bernardino was sick. He brought his uncle a doctor who confirmed that he was gravely ill and dying of the plague. So Juan Bernardino, feeling that his hour had come, asked Juan Dieguito to wake up the next morning to bring him a priest for, com for confession so that he could prepare for a holy death. The following morning, Tuesday, December 12th, Saint Juan Diego was on his way to Tlatilolco to get a priest for his uncle. And it is in this context that Our Lady says the words that we all know so well. Let nothing frighten or grieve you. Let not your heart be disturbed. Do not fear the sickness or any other sickness or anguish. Am I not here who is your mother? Are you not under my protection? Am I not your health? Are you not happily within my fold? What else do you wish? Do not grieve. Do not be disturbed by anything. Besides this, she speaks to him specifically about her uncle's illness. She says, Do not be afflicted by the illness of your uncle, who will not die of it. Be assured that he is now cured. I think that it's interesting that Juan Dieguito did not ask for his uncle's healing. She willingly interceded for his healing. She is not blind to our needs. As the Gospel of St. Luke 9, 11 states, Jesus healed those who needed to be healed. That's what she did for Juan, Juan Bernardino. It's important to note that Juan Bernardino's healing took place during the apparition. It was a double apparition, an apparition to the ill family member, Juan Bernardino, in his home, and to the worried messenger, Saint Juan Diego, at the foot of the mountain. I think that this applies to our times with the sick family members isolated in hospitals, nursing homes, or in foreign countries. She is there with them as a loving mother. Furthermore, 
proof that Juan Bernardino is fully healed, Our Lady sends him to Mexico to tell the bishop about the apparitions and about the miraculous healing, as well as to confirm the name by which she is to be addressed, the perfect Virgin Holy Mary of Guadalupe. In May 2007, Family Theater organized the Rosary Bowl at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. It was an evening of praise and worship, testimonies about the Holy Rosary and the prayer of the Holy Rosary. At that time, I was working at the Catholic channel ESNE and was asked to be an anchor woman for this bilingual event that was going to be transmitted live on channels ESNE and EWTN. The week was loaded with a ton of work translating a thick binder of introductions, testimonies, prayers, etc. from English to Spanish. I divided the work with uh, the guy who was serving as the anchorman. The Rosary Bowl was Saturday evening, but I had two prior commitments. On Friday night, I served as an MC for a fundraiser dinner uh, for a missionary priest. Saturday morning, I participated in our first breakfast conference for women organized by our ministry, Nueva Creación de Dios, from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. By 2 p.m., I was at St. Alfonso's Church since I had, I had organized to take two busloads of parishioners to the Rose Bowl. With all that I did that week, Friday night and that Saturday morning, I was exhausted when we arrived to the Rose Bowl. I needed a bed, not a microphone. While we were reviewing the program, someone brought two more testimonies to be translated from English to Spanish. So I got one and the other anchorman got the other. <clears throat> I told the, the anchorman, Will you please read the testimony so that I can hear it while I translate it simultaneously in my mind? I really felt so drained that I could not even think straight. I began to plead to the Lord to help me. I closed my eyes and I, I was begging to the Lord to please help me, help me, Lord. I'm so tired, help me. At that moment, I felt as if someone stood in front of me and placed their hands over me. I began to see a bright light over my face and my head. I felt great peace. The anchor, anchorman finished reading and I opened my eyes. When I opened my eyes, the exhaustion was gone. I felt renewed, refreshed, alert, awake. I believe that Our Lady visited me to heal me so that like Juan de Guito, I could serve her well. Our Lady of Guadalupe interceded for Juan Bernardino for this physical healing. I felt a physical and emotional healing. In both cases, she came on her own to bring healing because she wants the well-being of her children. So whether you have a physical, an emotional, psychological, or a, or a spiritual ailment, call upon her healing intercession to allow her to come to you. In this time of the pandemic, we are praying the Holy Rosary in my family for the healing, the holy death, and the eternal rest of those who have passed away. Let us pray together as a family and let us allow Our Lady of Guadalupe to surprise us with a healing visit at home, at work, in the hospital, or in the streets. And I'd like to pray with you now. Our Lady of Guadalupe, Mother of the true God for whom we live, you who are not deaf to our prayer, nor blind to our needs, 
come and visit us at home, in the hospital, the nursing home, at work, in the streets. We need you to be surprised. We need to be surprised by your healing presence. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.